Good morning. I am Margaret Marshall, former Chief Justice of the Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts. Why should they be held back? Simply because they are women. My prescription for gender equity in the United States today. My answer will surprise you. Defend our right to vote with everything we have. You know, for women, our most significant historical achievement to date has been securing the right to vote, our right to be heard. And I know that women thrive, rarely thrive, only in a democracy. Democracy is a necessary, not a sufficient, but an absolute necessary condition for gender equity. No oligarchy of men, no ideological minority will promote gender equity. And today, right now, our right to vote is under attack. Do not be fooled. To make voting more difficult disempowers women, it disempowers people of color. Of course, education, better health care, better child care, reproductive rights, equal wages, these are important for women to advance. But none can be achieved, none will be achieved if our right to be heard is diminished. I did not expect my remarks today to be an urgent call to protect the vote, not in the United States, in the 21st century, 2021. And yet state after state after state is passing laws making it more difficult to vote. Our responsibility, we must expose, shame, and defeat any elected representative, any governor, or indeed any judge. In most states, most judges are elected. Yes, we must shame them all if they make it more difficult for everyone to vote. One of my great heroes, Serena Williams, said recently, we cannot live in this world and be meek. If you're a woman, if you're a woman of color, you really need to stand up. You really need to be strong. I agree. Stand up, disrupt, fight, preserve the right of everyone to vote. That must be our number one priority.